hello everyone welcome again and today uh, in this demo i'm going to show you another demo of a spring boot application uh, which is uh, which is online news portal so let's start it from here currently it's running my server so i just stop the server so first I start the tools and technology what tools and technology we are using over there so it's using uh, Spring Boot. I'm gonna type it here. Spring Boot JPA Hibernate and JSP. Sorry, JSP HTML CSS and Bootstrap. To manage the backend, it's using MySQL database. Okay. And here's the configuration file and it's following MVC architecture and it's a Maven application so it's built over the Maven to running application it's running over the local host and using Tomcat server so these are the tools and technologies that we are using here now if you already bought, uh, already bought this project from code one or you want it you can connect us over the main Skype reward so we have remote team so we will help you to run the application at your machine and after that you will get this uh, application in this condition and after that you need to follow this demo to in order to operate the application so first thing how can you run the application from start so this is your root folder here we have a news portal application root java file so this is your runner file right click on it go to run as run it as a java application and I'm using IDE as an Eclipse and you can use Eclipse or STS, both are optional and you have to verify the message here, the Tomcat is started on a particular port number, in, it's running in, uh, currently in 8081 and after that, just go to your browser, enter here localhost and the port number that you can see here over there and slash the context path that you can see over here which is news portal also i will create this url and it will enter uh, like a view in the configuration file so you can directly enter the url so here i'm just going to copy it and it's giving me some issue and uh, let me check if database is connected or not okay here we have a database news portal in SP which contain these tables type 3 table category news and the table let me check what's not running I am entering some wrong URL over there let's running on 081 localhost okay and 081 is okay and let's add something okay uh the server is running fine let me check the controller over there so this is home as well. it should be eight zero eight one okay now we run it without this it will work so this is your final url i was entering like wrong port number over there so uh, i'm going to give it to you in your resources application or profile where it's a variable application url so you can after running the application you can directly enter this uh, uh, directly enter this url and it will work fine so let's start the demonstration how the application is working over there and what are the features and functionality we are using it so this is our home page and this is simply showing a welcome message on a news portal here we have a sign in up sign up option for the new user so the user can fill up this form and submit it so let's suppose i'm going to show you in a demonstration so currently we have three record as a user or admin so i just fill up some dummy data over there and i just enter the egg button the registration is successfully and now if i refresh my database table i can see the newly added record over there now another option we have a login we'll see in a while and another option at the home page we have a news 
So as an end user, we can view the list of views and we can view the news in detail view as well if required. Similarly, for any news, we can do the same thing. Now, let's log in as an admin, what admin can do, and then we'll see what user can do, what user can do into the application. So, we are using common table here and the common login page, but the user role will be different. So, uh, first for the admin, this is my credential for the admin. So, I'm going to log in as an admin here, and this is the password. So, in the user table, I can check. My credential i just enter username and password enter logged in into my application here we have a multiple option as an admin so what admin can do here admin can add a new category let's suppose i'm going to add a category um, let's suppose xyz anything uh, for a demonstration i'm adding this guy this text here and it will show here after that what admin can do if admin wants admin can edit it and if admin wants admin can delete it by clicking on this button so i'm just going to click it and going to delete it now so i just if i click on delete button it will be automatically deleted now let's add it again so we can add some new category new data over there so when i hit the again uh, add category it will be displayed here now into the news uh, another model we have a news model here uh, as an admin i can add a new news so here when i hit the add news i can check all the categories will be displayed here this is the recent category that we have just added and here i'm going to add the title of the news here i'm going to add some text over there so i'm going to add some long text to verify the messages so i just enter the same text okay so this is my news you can use some meaningful content over there when you are creating the application and here i'm going to add the image related to this news so let's suppose i'm going to add this suze image over there i think it should work news added successfully now if i check the news list i can see the news is added here now another module as an admin we have more users so i can if i want i can add a new user and all the user will be displayed here I can edit the date like I can edit the this user details. I can delete the user detail. Also, I can edit the news as well, and I can delete the uh, news as an admin. When I hit the logout, now let's log in in the user. What user can see over there? The user can also do like uh, user can log in. There is an option for the user to log in, and uh, user can view the news over there. So after logging also user will see the news, the user can view the available news over there. Also, uh, we can view it from here. So it's all about uh, online news portal. So in a Spring Boot and Hibernate and JPA JSP Servlet. If you need the source code, you can connect us over the Skype, Mail or WhatsApp. And don't worry about the configuration and setup. We have a remote team, so we'll take care. Uh, this code is working fine at your machine and after that you need to follow this demo.